Hello everyone, welcome back to the Canadian Young Physicist Tournament's channel. Today we're looking at IYPT 2020, problem number 8, Soap Membrane Filter. If you haven't done so already, please check out our last video about the pepper pot. Also, subscribe to our channel for future IYPT 2020 videos. I highly recommend checking out our crowdsource reference page linked in the description. This week, we added another 30 references from our generous contributors. The problem statement tells us that a heavy particle may fall through a horizontal soap film without rupturing it. However, a light particle may not penetrate the film and may remain on its surface. Investigate the properties of such a membrane filter. To demonstrate this phenomenon, I picked up a bottle of bubble water, this kit used to blow this gigantic bubbles, and also some particles that I prepared for the pepper pot experiment. As you can see, when I drop some particles down through the membrane, the membrane does not rupture. Some smaller particles are stopped by the membrane, and the larger ones are able to fall through. The membrane actually self-heals. What is special about soap is that it is a surfactant. The molecules contain a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic end. These ends attract the end of the same type and form a thin membrane of two surfaces. Water is trapped inside the surface, and this membrane, when deformed, returns to its initial shape because any increase in its interfacial area would require more energy input. It will tend to go to a state of lowest energy. We usually think of a soap film as quite fragile. From our experience, if we use a sharp object to poke the soap film, it is likely to break. But under certain conditions, this is not necessarily true. Here I was able to successfully pass a sharp sewing needle through the membrane without rupturing it. As I pull the needle back out, the membrane naturally self-heals. If we pass particles of assorted sizes through the membrane, we see that the larger particles successfully pass through and the smaller particles are able to slide on the membrane to the lowest point of the membrane. The smaller particles will all gather there, but be careful, if there's too many small particles, the membrane may still rupture. Although I don't have any theoretical model to back it up, I think the shape and material of these particles are also quite important. By dropping a variety of objects through this membrane, I have summarized a few criteria for a successful self-heal. Firstly, the size of the object is not a major limiting factor of self-healing. I was able to drop a styrofoam ball with a diameter of about 40 millimeters through the membrane with a successful self-heal. Secondly, the sharpness of the object is also not a major concern. The sewing needle can also pass through with almost no disturbance of the membrane. However, if the shape of the particle has sudden changes in its cross-sectional area, the membrane will likely break. Let's take a look at that again. The membrane ruptured only when the cross-sectional area of the particle suddenly increased. It did not rupture when the edges are sharp. I hope my analysis is helpful to you. If you disagree with anything that I said, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll leave you with this membrane filter montage. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.